All right, guys, you know, I have an awesome nation called the citizens of Jomalia. We have a question here, and I think this will apply to people beyond just the citizens. But how do you find peace when everyone around you is bitter and angry at the world? And I think a lot of us have to deal with this kind of shit growing up, especially when you live inside of a house of people you can't control and all that stuff. Honestly, murder. No, don't say that. No, okay, so here's the specific. But that right? solves a lot of problems. Damn, you know when Joe has to check you, you really fucked up. <laughs> but okay, tell me why not. You either get rid of them no, and or you go to jail and you're away from them. It's figuratively speaking murder because you're gonna go to, a, you're gonna get in big trouble saying that out loud in the deem. Big trouble, mister. By who? By the public. Who? The public. Oh, I mean World Ho uh, Health Organization? The who? The who? <laughs> what the fuck right, is well, going anyways, on? Right, so <laughs> here's what's going on. Let's, 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 let's focus here, okay? So, I live with my mom and my and brother, and as I, as I had gotten older, I realized how negative and toxic they are. Oof. It's their own unresolved traumas or insecurities, probably both, that seeps out. Since I'm the youngest, they don't take my criticism seriously. The bitterness they carry around damages my relationship with them because we are not interested in talking about the same things. They only put their mouth to use to gossip and complain and I feel gross every time I'm around them. How do I remain peaceful during this quarantine with them? The answer is probably simple, but I feel a bit lost with what to do in this situation. I am saving up to move out, but the rate I'm saving, it'll take years. Well, it seems like they figured out half the the problem, which yeah. is knowing that much, yeah. and and just in in those moments to be aware of their. I would tell them I don't want to hear it, problems. right? All this negative like shit that they 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 can't solve. Why can't she go la 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 la? <laughs> that's hard. Because I've told people that before, where they're like telling me shit that's going on with someone else's life, where it's just like. But then they go and talk shit about you when you say that. Yeah. No, I mean, well, they're with my that friends, person that they're talking so shit about. I don't. Yeah. If they're my friends, hopefully they're not doing that. But sometimes they'll like tell me about shit that's happening that they heard from somebody else that's just like all this bullshit and I'm just like just this is such bullshit I don't even need to hear this right now there's no point how about vibes right sometimes you just walk into a room and you're like Ugh. Yeah. yeah that's true that's very true yeah that's shit went down here you could <laughs> smell the drama like when I went to Germany it was like that really? <laughs> the whole country yeah and I'm like <laughs> I'm like Shit went down here. <laughs> oh yeah, we know what shit went down. Right. Right. Yeah. You but felt it that? Felt like it. I was just there five years ago. <laughs> I went to Munich and I was like, ooh, baked goods. <laughs> I was in Berlin. I was like, hmm. He had a stronger nose than oh. you. Yeah. Hmm. Plus it, it was foggy. Oh, that, that's maybe, sad. Maybe played into it, maybe not. Kind of gloomy looking. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, I'm not an expert on that, but you know. You know what? Besides the Mercedes Benz and the BMW, they have bad branding here in America. They're always the bad guys. Yeah, well, in the movies. Yeah, oh, yeah. come on. Let's think about a good movie that focuses on Germany being good. Anytime you buy random ass products, though, it's always like German technology. Have you seen that shit? Yeah, of course. I'm like, okay, cool, I guess. <laughs> but it's on things I don't respect that much, like batteries. I'm like, mm. you don't respect batteries? Nah, I just don't care that much. That's fucked up. I don't care about the engineering. It's like our latest technology. <laughs> Toothbrush. German batteries. Yeah. Does it Man. put batteries in it? That's a little better. If I use a generic battery, I feel like it's gonna run out quick. <laughs> yeah, same. That's true. If it's not name brand, I'm like, man, this is. I feel like Duracell is gonna keep me in for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Did they pay you to say that? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking calm I like down. Dur I like better than Energizer. Which one? But the Duracell. bunny though. Duracell. The bunny goes forever. <laughs> well, my powerful long erections are powered by Energizer. <laughs> so you do admit it, you do have a big dick, I knew it. No, that's not what I said. Powerful and long duration, yeah. not length. You should have left long out of it. Well, long meant length, not size. He's an endurance fucker. This question's fucking rough like, for me to like, Say because it's your family and you can't escape it. Especially because of quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you do? Yes, you can, Gio. I cut my aunt off of my life and I love it. But this is like, but this is your mom you and your brother. You and you're young. How do you cut them off? And you're in quarantine, you're stuck at home. That's what other rooms are for. <laughs> okay, assume it's a one bedroom apartment and yeah. the bedroom is your mom's. Mom, why do you have to live in such a small space? So yeah. then you add to the negativity. Mom. Yeah, I cut my mom off too. I have the perfect. Game plan for her, but I won't say it right now. You already said it in the beginning. No, what was it? Murder. Oh, you said murder. Murder, murder. that's choice number four. That's that's oh. five minutes ago to Dean. Yeah, you're, you're way past that. So you already can't say this one? If you guys want me to, I'll say it. Why not? Fuck it, we have nothing else to do. <laughs> so, you, you sign up uh, at the URL that we don't know yet, 
but the the Money Masters. This is really oh, smart so far. Right? Yeah. You gotta sign up Money Masters, which is our our art mm. program. Me and so, Steve's Money Masters. Yeah. That's step one. Mm. During that time, you're staying inside your room. You're away from these people because you're learning. Yep. The longer you wait from them, the shorter amount of time it takes from that years you say it'll take to save up. Plus the whole time of you being like, hey, I'm gonna save up because I wanna move out, gives you a goal and gives you a direction to start saving up even faster and not being like, oh, I'm gonna go spend money here, spend money here, because the overall goal is to get out of there. That's logical. Wow. If all else fails, Number four. We don't. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, we don't we know. Don't. Red rum. Red rum. Number four. Red rum. <laughs> Do you have a special Nadim code for it? A Nadim discount oh, yeah. code. Yeah. Discount code. It's uh, Nadim the Dream. Nadim the Dream. That's uh, too long. My Afghan buy, friend. Buy one get one. Same price. <laughs> That's too long. It should only be three letters. No, buy one get one same price. No five. Dollars. We should do a Nadim the Dream discount code. <laughs> Well, we're doing it. It's yeah. already in. How much is off? <laughs> Two cents. Hey, I, I want one too. Can it can it be like, Gio, if you type in this code, then you're gonna get money back. That's a long one. No, Gio, if you type in this code, you're gonna get money back. Can you do it? I want to see how many people sign up if they get two cents off. Yeah. Nineteen ninety seven. Everyone, I want to do it. It sounds fun. It's already ninety nine point nine nine percent off from half a million dollars. Listen, I bought the program myself, and I never had more fun. <laughs> Just buying the program, I had fun. So you're teaching us about money, and you ended up buying your own program. I don't. Because it goes back learn. into his own pocket. Damn straight. That's what you call investing in yourself. Like it's this. called money laundering, Gio. Yep. <laughs> and it works. I don't think it works like that. I think it does. And you can tell the IRS that, that I said that as well. Thank you. Well, it seems like she has her uh, head in the right place. She does. If you're trying to save out to move out, then obviously your goal is to move out. Some people don't even think about moving out and they just continuously go through this shit cycle. Well, yeah. that and the fact that she's so aware that she's like, I understand that they have their unresolved trauma, that it's coming from them. like. It's hard not to fucking feel their fucking vibrations and their, hear their fucking noise, um, but for her to like try not to take it personally, that's fucking deep. So there's this whole thing right now that a lot of people are moving toward, and uh, it's stoicism. Oh. What's that mean? How did, you, how did you know what I said? Is that like my dad who just watches TV when I come home and doesn't say hi? <laughs> oh fuck, you need a hug, bro. Did you just say queso? Huh? Que se eso? Que se eso? What is that? He translated it for me. Yeah. What does it mean? Cheese? What she said? Queso. What's that? That's what he said. He translated. So Marcus Aurelius created uh, Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius, right? And the whole concept is really about not letting other people's feelings, vibrations, and thoughts, and everything, anything, move you and what's happening to you. And so I think maybe this is what they're asking when they say how to find peace when everyone around you is bitter and angry around the world. I think you can't control how stupid someone is. So you'll never be able to change like a lot of things. Maybe you can, you know, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, a lot of great people have, right? But then when it comes to you and people around you, um, the thing that you can control is you mm -hmm. and how you feel about it. Yeah, situation. and how you react. And as, and as simple as that sounds, a lot of us don't know that. It's fucking yeah. hard. I get it, but you could have just said stoicism. <laughs> Yeah, I know. What? Oh, kiss eso. Exactly. I'm not gonna teach you guys anything, you fucking. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I feel. Can you believe I sp failed Spanish three times? <laughs> <laughs> how how far up I did you make it to? It. Spanish what? Uh, one, one, one no. two. About three times. Spanish one, two, three times. <laughs> Even I mean, just sitting in your room and writing a list of shit you can fucking control and shit you can't control, and seeing that and going like, all right, I can't focus on the shit I can't control. I'm focus on the shit I can't. And just mm. focus on you and your people. Like like this idea that we have to worry about the negativity around us. Look, I get it. But if you just focus on your people that give you positivity, the good people around you, yeah. then you'll be surrounded by like warmth. Dude, and you're but you're stuck your at room. home though. Yeah, you're in your room and they barge into your room. And they're yeah, like, here's this negativity. No doubt. And you're like, silence headphones and you just be, tune it out. You show them, because now you're gonna have fun too. Um, <laughs> number four? Number five. Oh. <laughs> so after murder, mm -hmm. then you go back to them and you'll okay. be even more about the drama. And gossip. Yeah. <laughs> Double down on their negativity. Yeah. And then throw it back at them. Yeah. Give them their own medicine. I feel like they misery loves comfort and they'll just bond even harder. But maybe she, then she sees the light with them and actually can bond with them. Maybe they're just hurt. Oh, you're so good. I mean, as long as nothing physical is happening, I feel like, cause my dad used to yell so much when I was a kid that like literally yelling now, it got to a point where when he yelled, it meant nothing to me. So if you can build up that immunity in yourself where you're just like, this shit yeah. happens so much, I'm numb Cause now. she's gonna go through it again. <clears throat> She has to learn how to get through people like that. That's the hope, right? Is that you can maybe condition yourself some way, hopefully. But she needs a break. Yeah. 
I think she needs a break and she could come at it easy, even easier, but she's stuck in quarantine with them and I think that's the it's hardest rough. thing to do. He's rough. Yeah. You need to take a little vacation maybe. Can you do that during <laughs> quarantine? Go to Animal Crossing vacation. Animal Crossing mm -hmm. vacation, very nice yeah. vacation. Yeah. Yeah. I, that always helps me too. Like when you're in the mix of something, it's so hard to think outside. And sometimes you need to just physically remove yourself outside looking in and then you see it and you're like, ha, it wasn't a big deal, man. Not to brag, Nelson just got a five star island. Really? Yeah, you have Animal island? Crossing with him? I had a five star island like three weeks ago, but oh, okay. he just got one like yesterday. So how about that? <laughs> Whose five star is more better? What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Five stars. He believed in what he said. Wait. Good for you. Don't let the negativity affect you. See how he just did that? He didn't let the negativity get inside his heart. He stood by it. I wasn't being negative, Steve. Oh, Don't really? read into it. I was really trying to, like, I was really trying to understand. I said, what the fuck did you say? And we all know I have a potty mouth. True. Well, you, you could have just said, que es eso. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, seriously, though? You fucking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>